We're keeping it simple today. We're sticking around in our neighborhood and we're, the goal to, for today is to do a bunch of little paintings. Keep it simple, keep it small. The minute it reads, the minute it works, move on to something else. And, and what we're doing too, which I think is a really um, great way to kind of keep your mindset into the sketch mode is we're um, taking one single panel and cutting it up with tape versus individual panels because then it's since they're all on one sheet you almost go well this is just an, a study anyway it's almost like a page in a sketchbook yeah um, so it keeps your mindset in the stick with your plan keep with the simplifying and, yeah. and not getting too wrapped up First little painting down. Set at the same corner, paint at different directions. Tried to keep it simple. It's hard to get really detailed when it's that small anyway, so it's kind of nice that you're 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 even though you desperately want to, you can't, which is great. I mean I managed to get nitpicky and put detail in even though I shouldn't. Of course. So this yeah, because I break the rules. I break the rules all the time. Always. Um, so the second one I'm gonna try to adhere to the rule and not do detail, just do blocky shapes. Okay, painting number two. I'm now going to try a down the road shot with this beautiful green canopy that we've got going all the way down this road with these old, old sweet gums. I'm holding to it. I think they're called sweet gums. We'll look it up afterwards. And um, just really trying to practice my greens. It's, it's a really tricky color, and so they always end up being the same green every single time. So this is a cool way to just kind of, here's a massive green. How are you gonna differentiate between foreground, middle ground, and background? And what are you gonna do with value and color and those kinds of things to try and push that?
What else do you think it needs? I think adding the little um, crosswalk yellow thingies, maybe make them make them more yellow. Make them more yellow, okay. Make them pop a little bit more. I think actually put some real yellow yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah, 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 real yellow. Okay. Yeah, because that'll help warm up some of the green foliage yeah. too. Oh, and then, and the, then the lines. Yeah, and then the Street lines stuff. kind of coming towards us mm -hmm. since you've got that nice big open plain. It would be a nice cool. um, kind of small fine detail. I will do that. Cool. I accidentally, so I have these two flat brushes and one of them I usually use for warm, one of them I use for cool and I had the wrong one on there, right? And I just grabbed it and I, I'm like, oh, I just put a bunch of warm in that cool shadow and it looks good. <laughs> and so I just put a bunch of warm marks in the cool shadow and like, I feel like it's got more life, but. That's how the magic happens. Well, this is the first time I've attempted, I guess this much city information um, uh, in a plain air. So I'm actually quite happy with the amount of, seriously, the amount of detail I attempted. And rather than just getting um, rushy with it and panic about losing sun and just going, it's just a big block. I wanted to try and just capture a little bit of kind of what's happening and to make this more distinctively London versus in another city. Finding that color combination of where the sun is hitting the pavement and then where the shadows are and having them harmonious and not always the same uh, two colors, like a lavender and a yellow, and really trying to match more of what I'm seeing versus just kind of going off of a formula that I have in my head. So I really tried to pull out some more blues and yellows and kind of make this a more blue, yellow, um, green, and then kind of warm, brown painting um, and try to keep all the, the colors within that harmony. Clouds completely disappeared, so we've got blue skies, so. <laughs>
on them, on that bad boy. <laughs> Standing about 10 feet back.